Nature Inspired, from Insects Insects have been on the planet for millions of years longer than Homo sapiens. Their population outnumbers humans by about 200 million to 1. Did you know that, of the more than 800,000 kinds of insects known to man, the vast majority are acknowledged to be beneficial? In fact, many of them do things that are vital to man's existence. Also, we can thank insects for the many human inventions inspired by them. Spiders, Bird Protection Glass Humans invented glass at least 5,000 years ago. It allows complete transparency while still providing a strong barrier against the environment. The transparency proved to be deadly for the hundreds of millions of birds that end up crashing into buildings and skyscrapers. They just can't detect them. A certain company wanted a solution for this and it turns out nature has solved this problem over 50 million years ago by the spiders. The spiders produce and use a special kind of silk for their webs that reflects ultraviolet rays, making them clearly visible to birds. The UV rays are easily recognizable as a warning to stay away and reduces the chance the bird will collide with the web and destroy the spider's ability to capture prey. A German engineering company have ingeniously reproduced the effectiveness of the silk webs into the production of special, bird-safe glass. The glass looks smooth and clear to us but actually possesses a unique, invisible characteristic that allows birds to see the obstacle in front of them and hopefully avoid a collision. The glass is glazed with a pattern that mimics a spider's web and is made of an ultraviolet reflective coating only visible to birds. This is because they are capable of seeing a broader UV spectrum than humans. Termites, air conditioning. Modern technology cools many homes with fans, air conditioners and other HVAC equipment. But long before, termites also cooled theirs, and they still do. Their nest is in the center of a large mound. From it, warm air rises into a network of air ducts near the surface. Their stale air diffuses out the porous sides, and fresh cool air seeps in and descends into an air chamber at the bottom of the mound. From there it circulates into the nest. Some mounds have openings at the bottom where fresh air comes in, and in hot weather, water brought up from underground evaporates, thus cooling the air. The air conditioning system of the Eastgate Center in Harare, Zimbabwe, was inspired by termites' nests. It only uses 10% as much energy as conventional air conditioning. Fireflies, brighter LED lights. Many insects, birds, fish, and amphibians emit light as a way to communicate with each other, but the species that produces light most efficiently is the firefly. Light-emitting diodes LEDs, are more energy-efficient than incandescent and compact fluorescent CFL, bulbs. However, much of the light LEDs produce remain trapped in its inner surfaces. In a study, researchers have investigated the optical properties of the firefly's light-emitting cuticle, which is not smooth like most human-made lights, but instead is patterned with tiny hierarchical structures of jagged scales which prevented reflection and enhanced the glow of the firefly's light. Inspired by these features, the researchers replicated the patterns to create a bio-inspired organic light-emitting diode, OLED, resulting in a 60% increase in the light extraction efficiency and 15% wider angle of illumination. Ponderous Borer, Modern Chainsaw the modern chainsaw owes its origins to observations of another insect, the ponderous borer, Trichognemus speculatus, a type of large beetle. Until the mid-1940s, saw chains had a tooth arrangement similar to that of a manual crosscut saw. The chains were inefficient as they dulled quickly. Many loggers ended up abandoning them for the manual equivalent. 
Joseph Cox of Portland, Oregon happened to pay attention to the wood-boring larva of a ponderous borer, and noticed that the insect's opposable mandibles were highly effective in gnawing through wood. Cox devised a new saw chain with alternating right and left cutting teeth that vastly improved the quality of chainsaws. His design was patented and led Cox to begin manufacturing his product in 1947 in the basement of his home. Oregon Saw Chain Corporation eventually became Omark Industries, an international company. Carl D. Duncan, a professor of entomology and botany said, it is perhaps impossible to visualize adequately the totality of beneficial effects which insects exert directly or indirectly on human welfare, but the benefits are incalculably great. We should be grateful to insects and related arthropods for their inspiration and complexity, and we should continue to learn from them, with a degree of reverence. <laughs>